Hey guys, Pete Large Calvin Restrictors. Uh, been wanting to do a video about uh, Hera and uh, her clutch that she actually did lay. Um, it's feed day. I'm down here on the computer. I'm doing some editing on some other videos that I've done. Uh, so, um, Hera went through the whole nine yards. She was got paired with Thor, or banana spider, um, heifer pied. Uh, Hera came from New England Reptile Distributors last year um she's a i want to say five-year-old four-year-old i'm sorry four-year-old female um and she had pied she uh they locked several times um thor was producing sperm plugs he's he's two now yeah he's two years old now so i went ahead and started pairing him with her we got like 10 locks i saw 10 different locks they were paired more than that, but uh, I visually saw 10. So, you know, she was showing signs. She's uh, still showing. She still thinks she's got eggs, but that's neither here nor there. I've given her two baths, and she's soaked and cleaned her tub a couple times, but it is what it is. She is still in very good body condition. She's still just under 3,000 grams, so she's still doing good. She'll go back on food. I'm, I know she will. It'll just take some time i gotta be patient so she went through the whole pre lay shed she did the 30 days it was actually 20 26 days yeah i think it was 26 days i popped her i pulled her uh tub open and i found that she was laying on she was in a cone shaped coil and i thought well she's got eggs well she did so she laid 12 slugs 12 so I'm not sure, I'll put a picture of those up right now. And uh, she, uh, I don't know why that happened. She ate really well until she went off of food. Um, she actually ate, I think twice after she went off food. So she had uh, two and like two rats in like 20 some weeks or whatever. I'd have to go look at all my paperwork. So she did slug out all 12. So this year, uh, this coming season, this guy's down here with her paw on my leg. So this coming season, we're going to give her the, the uh, season off, give her a break. Um, and then we'll try again with her uh, in 22, 22, 23. There's Sky. Hi. You're fine. I know. Daddy's trying to do a video. I know. Daddy's been trying to do this video for a while now. So, that's what happened with Hera. So, it's disappointing. Yeah, it is kind of disappointing. Um, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Still got the four hatchlings from Artemis. Uh, we are going to try and feed today. I tried with um, some rat fuzzies and left them in overnight. That didn't work. They did not eat. So, we're going to do some... Uh, mouse hoppers today when I feed everybody so we'll throw a couple we'll throw a mouse hopper in each tub and and see what happens um they're still in good health they're not they're not showing signs of getting skinny or anything right thank you I love you too you're a good girl um so yeah we'll try that tonight that'll be another a separate video that'll go over on patreon so yeah uh it is what it is with Hera. So I'm looking forward to this coming season, though. Um, we still have a chance to do for another clutch this year. This guy's, <laughs> come on, baby girl. You're going to have to get down. Get down. Uh, with our uh, loner from uh, Lots of Lizard Reptiles. The, um, she's a pastel. And uh, she's being, she was paired with our banana Mojave, um, Odin. And uh, she is still bull wrapping. She is... I'm not good at palpating, not real well good at that. So she feels like she's got um, some follicles going on. So and we'll see with her uh, maybe in the next month or so, 30 days. We'll see what happens. Uh, also, what else? I think that's all. Uh, yeah, looking forward to the upcoming season. We're going to have, I should have one, two, three, four. At least four more, four girls ready to go. Um, these are my grow ups that we bought last February. 
So they're going on two years old. A couple of them are close to that 1500 gram mark right now. So by the time uh, October, end of October, beginning of November comes around, they should be good to go. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know what happened with Hera. And I know I've been promising to do the video, but um, lots of stuff has been going on here. Um, Oreo, our 16-year-old uh, Shih Tzu passed and that kind of... I didn't really feel like doing any videos at that point. Um, I did. It took me a little while to get back in the swing. But I want to get this video up um, and uh, let you guys know what happened with her, with Hera. She did lay. They were all slugs. She was a very good eater up until, like I said, up until the point to where she got off of food. Um, in fact, she they're, they're towards her not wanting to eat. She was eating a small rat uh, on like Saturday and then, or on a Friday and then uh, Tuesday feed day would come around and she would eat another small rat. So she was actually, or small to medium I should say. So she was pounding food. She was doing really well. Um, other than that, I tried uh, every week after that. So yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure why she slugged out. Um, could she possibly have retained sperm? That is possible. And we could get a cl another clutch out of her. So I don't know. It is very possible. Um, like I said, though, I'm not going to pair her this year. Or this coming season. I'm going into uh, 22. So she'll get the year off. And we'll, we'll see what she does next year. Or the following year. In 22-23 uh, season. So yeah, that's where we're at with her. Um, my day off. I just got done cleaning rat tubs. And, uh, if finish, I'm going to get this video on here and edit it and throw the picture of Hera's clutch, clutch in here. And, uh, still hopeful for that pastel banana Mojave clutch. Uh, hopefully they, uh, she decides to produce for us. If not, we'll, we'll, uh, send her back home and, or maybe try again. We'll see. Um, it's going to be a split clutch, so we'll see what happens. I would like to see. I'd like to get a couple bananas out of that. See if I can get a couple female bananas. Odin's a new a new breeder, so I'm not sure if he's a male maker or female maker. So I would like to find out. Um, he came from Will Banks Captain Bread Reptiles. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It'd be cool if he was a female maker. That'd be cool. So I'm not sure. Got him as a juvenile. And uh, yeah. I'd like to get some uh, pastavas and maybe a couple Mojave females out of that clutch. That would be cool. I'm going to split it and then uh, lots of those reptiles uh, will take theirs and Edna will go back home. And maybe in the future we'll do another split with her, but we'll see. Uh, I'm rambling now, so until next time, guys, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Uh, set it to all so you know whenever I put up a video. I try and do videos on Tuesdays and Wednesdays or Wednesdays, I should say. Um, I'm also we're also over on Instagram, uh, Large Caliber Constrictors over on Instagram. That light's blinding. I'm trying not to look at it. I got it way up too high. I'm turn it down a bit here. And we are all. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, go over to Patreon. Check that out. Uh, I'd like to do some more stuff over there. Once we get a couple more people on there, um, question and answer stuff, uh, live, some live stuff. And, uh, yeah, I put up a feed video over there 99.8% of the time every week. There's a feed video up over on Patreon, um, and some other stuff. I have puppy videos and things like that. So if you want to help support, go over there, check it out. Uh, so yeah, uh, Lost my train of thought there for a second, which happens a lot. So um, I will see everybody in the next video. And until then, uh, take care. Bye.